Hello, everybody, and today we are going to have a little talk about metaphor. Metaphor. Okay, so anyway, how this is going to go is as follows. Um, a little while ago, I did the, like, like, what do you call it? When, when I pitch my shit. Not my tent, my shit. When I tell you guys, oh, the new blood rag's out, blah, 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 blah. I got a funny comment. It was kind of a, what's the word I'm looking for here? Could be slightly offensive to some people. So why is this called the blood rag? Because what I was hoping to get from the people who submit to this Okay, what I was hoping to get was people writing so real and so raw that it was like they cut themselves and then used the paper as like a gauze or a rag to just bleed into the the gauze or the rag. Okay. I wanted this to be a thing that captures that blood, that spirit, that soul, all right? And then the rag side of it is that a rag um, is an old-timey name for, like, a throwaway periodical, like a newspaper, a tabloid, um, what have you, Okay. So, and I think a lot of that has to do with maybe the fact that for a long time people use, and I think they still do, use newspaper to clean windows to like, um, so there's no streaks and stuff like that. So that was the, the idea behind this, okay? And, um... Then I got this comment where this guy said, um, I'm going to misquote it because I, whatever. He said something like, yeah, my, my wife has a blood rag once a month or something like that. Now, he was joking. He said it in a harmless manner. It is slightly offensive to... Um, at least half the population to say something like that. And then I said, yeah, that's the idea. Meaning, this too happens once a month. And that metaphor was not an intentional metaphor. Meaning, I did not start this with that in mind. But used his metaphor of something into my metaphor of something. Do you guys see how metaphors work? Isn't this just fucking fascinating shit? So anyway, the um, whole purpose of me talking about this and talking about metaphor and the whole deal, because um, as you've heard me say numerous times in the past, I, I would rather have a simile. And since I said like about 1,500 times, maybe we should be talking simile here more than metaphor. But then some say simile is just a type of metaphor. So let's just say words. 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 Um, so if you feel like you can write something raw, you could write something visceral, you feel like when you write, it's like slicing your wrist and pouring it on the page, send it to me. I'm interested. I, I would love to put it in this thing. So anyhow, um, that is that. If you have any comments or questions about this, please let me know down below. And you can pick up the first two issues while supplies last of the Blood Rag at my Etsy shop, located down below. And honestly, to the guy who sent me the comment, I appreciate the comment. This wasn't to throw you under the bus or anything like that. But it might be offensive, so you might want to yeah. up on that shit a little bit. So until next time, everybody, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.
I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Creo and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the career with the Anarchy Creo, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.